the connection between man dead under rubble and prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam the miraculous death of this man in earthquake but what happened next the bloody body of a young boy was rescued but it left the rescue fighters aghast and amazed what was so special about that body who was the boy what was his connection with the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam that left the whole world surprised the world was going on with its regular ways some of us were talking about the atrocities of the muslims in syria and palestine all the rest were involved in their in their daily life matters nobody had an idea that morning of 6th february will be an invitation to another wave of destruction for the already stuck muslims of syria they did not know it was their last ramadan so what excuse do we have now to not learn the book of allah this ramadan learn all the stories from quran in 30 days copies are limited and only available till march 20th so order yours now it was a cool chilly morning and everyone was enjoying the peak of his sleep in their cozy beds when suddenly everything started to move and tremble everything began to shake it was an earthquake people ran outside their homes buildings were evacuated but the earthquake was so strong that huge buildings turned into rubble within a matter of seconds and it did not even allow people to get out here is one such video of a young boy stuck with his family members and neighbors under the rubble <laughs> This huge disaster has not just struck Turkey, Syria and Jordan. It has struck all the Muslim ummah and in a way the whole world. Social media has enabled us to see and understand a part of their misery. All that aside, the world has been seeing some very serious miracles of the people of Allah getting help in such circumstances of agony and destruction. One such miracle is a boy whose body was recovered several days after the earthquake hit his house he wasn't alive unfortunately but the rescue fighters who took his body out were amazed to see how fresh his face looked and his body was giving off a beautiful fragrance which could be felt by everyone present there when the relatives of the boy came to know of this and this amazing news spread on social media it was revealed that the boy was actually a poet he used to write poems and couplets for the love of the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam his relatives told afterwards that the boy had a deep love for the sunnah and the personality of muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam and he used to write and read small beautiful poems on the love for muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam all glories to allah allah elevated his rank in the world and will put him on high ranks in the hereafter inshallah even when his body was being washed for burial it kept on giving a cool nice fragrance which could be felt by everyone around this is not just one incident there are a series of them that prove that allah will keep on showing his signs and he will never disappoint his dear and obedient people a few days ago a woman was rescued from deep below the rubble She was devastated, hardly breathing, but she refused to come out. Why would she not come out? Did she want to die for some reason under the rubble? No, brothers and sisters. She refused to come out because her head was uncovered. She wasn't able to communicate that. But once she recovered, she was given a scarf. And then she covered her head. Such was her connection with her creator that her life was secondary her commitment with her creator was all that mattered to her may allah bless us all with such strong commitment and iman amen you would not believe how allah has shown his signs to his men in these times when they were in a state of deep despair and hopelessness a mother and child 
were rescued after 90 hours and both were alive. And the mother said, Allah sent her help amidst a huge pile of rubble deep below the ground. How can a woman give birth to a child in the middle of the rubble without any help? How is it possible that the newborn is alive and healthy and completely safe? What made the woman not bleed to death and instead stay strong for around 90 hours? It was none other than Allah. Allah has His way of communicating and helping His people, the people who have a strong connection with their Creator. A 45-year-old man was recovered after 104 hours, bleeding and traumatized, frightened, but throughout was reciting the Holy Quran. It was the beautiful ayat of Surah Al Baqarah that he was reciting that said. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Rescuers have recovered bodies whose hands were on the rosary beads. They had not stopped remembering Allah till their last breath and died in that condition. It was their Iman that took them through the hardest time facing slow death. We all pray to Allah for such a strong commitment to Deen and Allah. We all pray for Allah's mercy on all those stuck with the earthquake. Ameen. They did not know it was their last Ramadan. So what excuse do we have now to not learn the book of Allah? This Ramadan, learn all the stories from Quran in 30 days. Copies are limited and only available till March 20th. So order yours now.